This is Cassie Huffstutler, and I'll be discussing the character motivations in the play. Amanda Wingfield was determined to provide her children with a better life than she had created for herself. She thrived on dreams of success for her children. After having made so many mistakes in her own life, she was fe fearful of her children leading the same lifestyle. She persuades Laura to attend typewriting classes to open the doors not only for her to flourish socially, but financially as well. Her constant worry about what will happen to her daughter when she passes leads her to become obsessed with finding her daughter a place in the world. The era in which the play is portrayed was around the time that women were just starting to get their foot in the door of the working world. Amanda seemed to take this new fortuity as an opportunity for her daughter to make a life for herself, while not having to rely on a man's financial stability. But as she faces the fact that her daughter will be unable to obtain a career and support herself, she diverts back to her time when women had to be supported by a husband. Amanda was raised in a very proper home where she was catered to and held high standards for her appearance and mannerisms. She often reflects on her time in Blue Mountain when she had an abundance of gentlemen callers. This generational divide creates hostility between the family members. She comes from a time that men are to work hard to support their family and women are to cater to the needs of her husband, home, and children. This leads to the way her relationship and the outpour of criticism towards her children is established in her character. Laura Wingfield comes from a broken and dysfunctional family. She fears she is a burden to her brother and a disappointment to her mother. She wishes for nothing more than family unity that will never exist among the three of them. She cannot please her mother due to her in inadvertent disability, both psychologically and physically. She fears her brother will never fulfill his dreams as a traveling writer due to his responsibility to support her and, fear to support her and fears he will live an unaccomplished life of resentment. Laura allows her disability to suppress her drive to become something more. She wants to be normal and have a career and a husband, but her distressed outlook on life overshadows her chances of ever succeeding. That is, until she encounters Jim. After he entices her to look past her disability, she begins to show signs that she will have a bolder outlook on her life.